Hey, what's up guys? What am I doing? You know what, new year, enough of that. You guys know my name is The Cherno. Let's just get into this. So this video I'm gonna keep really simple. There's no reason for this to be a long video. All I'm going to do is show off a little project that I've been working on that's gonna help me make more videos in the future as well as test out certain things inside OpenGL. It's gonna be used a lot in this channel for both the Game Engine series and the OpenGL series. And it's very much a work in progress. And one of the things that I really wanna do this year is share more of what I actually do with you guys. So instead of just kind of um, giving you the final product and the finished product and being like, okay, this is my completed code. It took me like a lot of time to actually perfect. And this is all you see, the perfection, the result at the end of it. I don't want to do that. I know you guys are not just interested in the final kind of destination. You're also inter interested in the journey and how the project kind of evolves over time. So that's why this year, one of the things that I want to do is for sure release more unfinished stuff, which is kind of scary because I know that I'm going to get judged a lot for like certain code by certain people and being like, you know, what, what are you, why are you doing it this way? Everyone thinks through code differently. Everyone works on projects differently. Um, so, I mean, th this thing that I'm going to show you here is the result of a, of a couple of days of work. It's not, um, it's not like bad by any means. It's not something that I would you know, that I'm embarrassed to share. That's not the point. The point is that it's something that will naturally evolve over time with help from the community, with help from kind of just as I make each video and I realize, huh, that would be good. Um, my intention with this is not just to release a final product, as I said, it's more or less to kind of be like, here is kind of this base and then let's build upon this base. So speaking of the base, what is it? What have I done? So a little bit of backstory. The OpenGL series is a series I have on my channel where I teach OpenGL and we're getting to the point where there has to be some kind of, um, I guess, base library, base kind of library of existing code upon which I can demonstrate another concept. And the game engine series really requires this as well because that's like a full on game engine. So if I'm kind of, if I wanna do batch rendering, for example, instead of integrating it into the game engine, I wanna integrate it into the OpenGL series. But to do that, you know, it's very difficult to just open up a blank project and then be like, okay, batch rendering, but first we have to set up these billion things, right? And so what I what I wanted to do and what that kind of inspired was me creating a base OpenGL library, like just a bunch of boilerplate code so that you can just literally like download this repository from GitHub and then just like run the the script or whatever to generate all the project files, open the solution and then start typing your OpenGL code in and everything will be there for you. All the support stuff that you want, like I am GUI, maybe utilities for loading shaders quickly so that you don't have to write that OpenGL code, utilities for debugging, all of that kind of stuff, like cameras maybe, because you don't wanna just go ahead and make a camera class. You want all of that stuff to be here already so that what you can do and what I can do when I make these videos is just focus on the actual OpenGL code. So this is interesting because it's like, it's almost like the opposite of an engine, right? Where an engine you would expect, you wouldn't expect to write any OpenGL code at all in an engine. You would expect to just be able to, for like for the engine to have its own API, for you to be able to be like, I wanna draw a triangle, I wanna draw a rectangle, easy, done, right? But this is like the opposite because it's like, well, give me a blank file for me to literally just type OpenGL code in. That's what I want because I want to actually type the OpenGL code myself. I just don't want all of the surrounding kind of fluff that you need, like creating a window and like, you know, dealing with like events and input. I don't want any of that. I just wanna be able to calmly and peacefully write my OpenGL code. And in my case, show you guys the OpenGL code that will make batch rendering happen, for example, right? Without having to actually, um, you know, be like, don't worry about all this other code I've got. You know, you can like that, that's, that's a mess, right? Let's start with a base, everyone download this project, and then let's build on top of that and demonstrate what it is I'm actually trying to teach. And this is gonna become really important in the future when we like, for example, learn about multiple rendering targets, um, deferred rendering, you know, physically based rendering, all of these kind of things, you know, if you don't have a, a very, very simple foundation base that you like or have already built up for yourself, and then you can demonstrate these concepts on top of that, it's gonna be a huge mess, no one's gonna be able to follow along. So that's what inspired this. If you wanna hear the backstory behind this, let's dive in and take a little bit of a look at what this base library looks like. Again, I'm gonna, there'll be a link in the description below to the actual GitHub repository. Um, I expect to probably, like I've got some more ideas for this right, like right now. Like this isn't even like, okay, I've done as much as I, can think of, let's move on. No, I have, there. Are, it, this, is un, this is not finished. There's a few things that I really wanna add and I will do that throughout the week. I might make videos about them if they kind of 
are video worthy. Um, but yeah, let's just take a look at what we've got here. Okay, so naming wise, I've been really boring. It's just called OpenGL Core. We kind of have two projects here. We have the core, which is almost like the kind of engine part of it. And then we have Sandbox, which is like the client, right? Where you actually write all of your code. Um, if you go to scripts and then this win premake thing, you run this batch file, it will actually generate the Visual Studio solution and project at the moment. It's only, it only supports Windows, but I'm planning to add Mac and Linux support as soon as possible. In fact, you guys should be able to achieve that because there's no, uh, there's no Windows specific code in here at all. So diving into Visual Studio, what you'll see here is a few different projects. So we've got GLAD, GLFW, and IMGUI. Those are kind of like the dependencies, the support library. A lot of this, by the way, is inspired like directly from Hazel. In fact, I've taken quite a bit of this from Hazel. So it will be familiar to you, but I haven't taken any of the kind of bigger systems or anything like that. I've just taken things like layers, input, you know, uh, logging, uh, what else is there here? I'm GUI stuff, just the whole application layer, um, orthographic camera and the camera controllers. And again, you'll notice there's no perspective camera or anything yet. Um, that's gonna be definitely added in the future. But we have like this whole um, kind of, we've got OpenGL debug, we've got this whole little library of code that is really gonna help us with kind of, I guess, testing out things or learning things in OpenGL so that we have a nice OpenGL sandbox to play around with. So going into here we have the same kind of setup as what you would expect inside Hazel. We have an application here. We push a layer, so you can have you can have OpenGL code on multiple layers if you want to. That's totally fine. And then inside Sandbox Layer, which is our example here, I've just written some example code. And you'll note that this Sandbox Layer file, you know, it has OpenGL code in it. That's the entire point. Um, the includes are really simple. All we include is glcore.h, and then if we want the utilities, so in this case, utilities-wise, I'm using an orthographic camera controller and shader. So this kind of utility name space, as I call it, is just basically a collection of helpers for your kind of OpenGL needs. So in other words, the shader class here will just help you with loading a shader. Instead of you having to write out all of that boilerplate OpenGL code yourself, even though this library is about writing the OpenGL code yourself, this this is just kind of like, like a little utility that will just, you know, compile, link, you know, load from text files, all of that stuff. It'll do all that stuff for you so that you can just easily call something like shader you know, load from GLSL files, and then it will just give you that OpenGL shader ID. And a lot of these utilities like this orthographic camera controller is really just there to kind of simplify your OpenGL code and just let you do what you want to do. So in other words, again, if I wanted to just try out uniform buffers or something like that, you know, I don't want to have to write a bunch of code to load a shader to kind of set up my camera so that I can move around properly, make sure everything's working properly. I don't want any of that. I just want to focus on this specific part of OpenGL that I want to test out. And this library is really just here to kind of help you do that. That's why we've got like this whole event system here as well. So you don't have to worry about like input. It's everything's kind of handled for you. You can just write your code. There's an on IMGUI render here. So you can add some controls if you want. You can really just do your thing here. That's kind of the whole goal of this library and it's gonna try and not get into your way too much. So this example that I've set up, if we just launch this, it's really simple. We just kind of have this red square here. We can control the square color via I'm GUI like that. You know, we can zoom in and out with the mouse scroll wheel. Uh, it's super simple, nothing special at all. Um, this is called the OpenGL Sandbox Project. I'm probably gonna rename this specific example to like OpenGL Example or Examples, and then we can build up a library of examples as well. But OpenGL Sandbox specifically, my idea for this is just to have literally this file be completely blank. It'll have all of these function definitions, but no bodies. So in other words, you know, we'll have something like uh, on the on attach, um, which is when the layer gets kind of initialized, you know, we'll just have empty code like this so that you can just jump in and immediately write your own code. That's kind of the idea. But at the moment, I've just, you know, we've got this pre-make file that generates this whole solution. I haven't split this up into separate like pre-make files per project so that we can generate multiple solutions, one for each kind of, um, I guess, thing that you want. So in other words, we'd have like an OpenGL example solution, which will have like this, you know, red square example so that you can easily see how to use this library if you don't know where to start. But then I also wanna have an OpenGL sandbox solution, which is just that blank slate, a blank canvas for you to kind of do all of your OpenGL stuff in. And in fact, I might do that later this week and I'll make a video probably talking about how to set up like multiple pre-make files and have that kind of work together because I haven't done any pre-make videos at all yet. And you can see here that like, I mean, this example, it's just, it's like 90 lines of code and it's, it's kind of written from scratch, so to speak. So there's a bunch of stuff that this library has done to obviously help us, but 
the actual rendering, like that's completely inside this file. There's no like renderer or anything like that. It's all this. You know, there's a camera controller that we use. There's, you know, the whole window system that's been abstracted away in the input and whatever. But if we look at the unattached layer, you know, we, ena we enable GL debugging, which is super useful. You know, if we were to accidentally do something like in this draw call, let's just say I use the incorrect enum, I use GL int instead of unsigned int. If I was to launch this, the little debugging system is going to throw me an exception. I can actually go up this call stack here and see that it happened directly on this line. I can open the log. It'll tell me here that I've used an invalid enum. You know, we have this really nice system here that helps us kind of iron out all of our OpenGL errors and make sure that we're doing everything correctly. So that's what enable uh, GL debugging does. Then we have a bunch of OpenGL enables. Then we have this utility function from GLSL text files, which lets us load this shader um, or these two shaders just from text files. You can see it's super simple. Um, and then we later use that shader object in, in, not in an abstract way at all. We literally just use it. It just holds that render ID, that unsigned int that we can then just get and just pump into our other OpenGL functions. So it's super simple. Um, and then, you know, we create vertex arrays. We have, you know, a bunch of vertices, really simple stuff here. We create a vertex buffer and an index buffer as well and set up those attributes. Um, and then on update, which is like our render function, you know, we clear the screen, we, we bind the shader, we get the uniform location for the view projection matrix and the color uniform, and then we execute that draw. So really simple stuff. It's all done within this file. And that's kind of, again, the purpose of the library to just help you actually write OpenGL code and not have to worry about all the fluff that's that kind of stops you from just diving in and doing what you want. Um, another huge benefit, I think, to this is the fact that I'm GUI is just built in, right? And because I'm GUI is just like built in for you, if I did want to test something out that would normally require a lot of setup and like days or weeks of, of actually kind of building up something like a proper test bed for myself, a proper sandbox to actually test something out, I don't have to worry about that at all because I can just add my IAM GUI controls all around whatever it is I'm building. And I can have this like great example up and running within like just no time at all. So. I love this. I really like something like I, I love creating stuff like this because it really just almost takes the stress out of being like, okay, you know, I want to learn shadow mapping because back in the day when I, when I was, you know, really excited about learning all of these graphics techniques, not that I'm not now, it's just now they're a lot harder. You know, now I'm like excited about learning ray tracing or something like real time ray tracing, something a bit more advanced. But, um, you know, back in the day when I was like, okay, let's sit down and write, you know, w worry about shadow mapping. Like that's, that's really difficult to do for someone who's never done it before. And if you're kind of diving in and doing that just on your own with no support libraries, with nothing like that, it can really be difficult. But you know, if I had had, you know, I am GUI, if I had had like an event system and this kind of layer system and this debug system and just this whole, if I had all of that like working and written down so that I could just, you know, look through this and write my OpenGL code and not have to worry about like, you know, oh, but you know, I've written this engine and it's all abstract and I have no idea what order my OpenGL like calls are even coming in if I don't use something like, um, you know, like a graphics debugger, like it, it's, it's just a mess, right? So this will hopefully help a lot of you people. It'll, it's definitely going to help me actually teach OpenGL going forward and in turn teach the game engine series. So I'm super excited about it, about it. Just let me know what you think in the comment section below. Again, the link to download all of this code will be in this, in the description below. Um, the next video I put out, um, well, I mean, the next OpenGL series video that I put out will use this library to probably do batch rendering. So we're gonna, that's what, that's kind of the first use case of this. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to help support the channel on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash the churno. Huge thank you to everyone who does. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.